Oh yeah. What's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlogs. I know it's been a while since I vlogged I'm, and I do apologize about that. I've just been really busy with work and like, um, I haven't really been feeling like vlogging. Um, and the reason why is because I don't like to make videos and just keep using the same format and like using the same ideas kind of like I don't want to keep talking about the same things that I used to talk about with the STI and all that, but um, I know some of you guys do enjoy some of the vlogs that I do and like appreciate it. So I thought to myself, well, I'll just I'll just make this one vlog. I'll make you know recycle a couple other vlogs so I could make some videos um, and you know make some videos for you guys and like be help be a little helpful and all that. Um, I haven't done much to this car since the last time you guys probably saw it. The only thing I've done, if you guys could even notice, is the window tint, and then that's that's about it. Um, other than that, nothing else. I've just been saving money for parts and all that. And with the new job, it's taking me a little longer, and it's a little harder to save money for parts, but that just comes with the price of the vehicle. And honestly, that's, that's the topic of this video, pretty much, how much this car really costs and you know what 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 it's like to like afford one or you know not afford one but like how, what it's like to have one like price wise or like you know money wise so like the STI I told you guys how much the STI costed me and like how much I saved how much I put down and all that I pretty much wanted to do the same type of video for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are out there that you know want a car or like want a car like this and I totally get it let's start off with how much this car costs so the new 2021 Supras they came out with the new and I guess you could call it reformed B58 engine so they raised the, the they raised the price a little bit more so MSRP this car costed about 12, 57 and some hundred thousand dollars right um, the first time I went to the dealership, they tried selling me this car for like $65,000 and I was like, uh, hell no, I'm not buying this car for that much money because um, it's already expensive as that as it is. So the first couple times I went to the Toyota dealership, I kind of just walked away and I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. No, I'm not going to buy a car on that expensive. It's way too much money. I could buy a, G I could buy a used GTR for that much money, pretty much. So I left. And then I hit up a few other Toyota places. I talked to a few a few other dealers, and like they told me that they could get me in a Supra for MSRP. So I was like, okay, cool. So I went to the same dealership, and then this time they finally offered me the car for MSRP for about fifty-seven and some thousand dollars. So then I finally agreed. I told them, okay, well, if you guys are gonna sell it for me for MSRP, then I'd, I'll definitely buy it. There was a little bit of negotiating, not much, not much, honestly, with with how the car market was. And it still is. It was it was hard to negotiate any lower than MSRP. So uh, honestly, for what it is, I kind of got a good deal on it. You could probably get an even better deal on it if you're if you're patient. But honestly, I'm not very patient. If I want some, if I really really want something, I'll obviously like buy it and like try my best to get it right there and then. MSRP after taxes and a title fee this car came out to be about sixty three thousand dollars so about you know taxes and all that stuff literally kill you on in, in any car honestly so so the, I got the car for pretty much sixty three thousand dollars that's how much the car was after taxes and everything I then put down a very very hefty down payment because when I sold my STI I actually didn't lose very much money from the taxes after the taxes and everything so I pretty much sold the STI for about almost forty thousand dollars and I got the car for MSRP so after taxes maybe I lost like maybe a thousand or so dollars like not much honestly like it was it was really good it was it was a good idea for me to sell the car right there and then before anything else changed and I got a I got a you know worst deal on it or 
So I ended up selling all the parts. I used that money to put more down for the Supra. And so after saving from working all the time and putting away money, I ended up putting, why are you honking at me? I put down about $14,000 down. And so what I had left was about $49,000 or something like that to pay off, to, left to pay off the car. And the interest rate at the dealership was really high. I forgot how much exactly they were trying to make me sign. It was like 5%. It's like five something percent and I have like a pretty decent credit score because like I've been paying off a car for like I don't even know how long but um I had a pretty decent credit score so for me to get that high of an interest rate it kind of surprised me so I looked around and I looked up some some of the local banks and like well-known banks to see like who would give me the best interest rate and I ended up getting a 2.6 interest rate for it's a little long for 75 months you know it's a little long but for 75 months at a 2.6 interest rate is not bad at all you know i could always pay off the car a lot faster if i really really wanted to and just keep paying more and more every month but for that for that interest rate that's not that bad so my payments look about 700 are about 716 dollars and compared to the sti the sti was about 530 so I'm only paying maybe a hundred and some dollars more every month which isn't terrible either um, but I did have uh, a little lower interest rate on the STI and I was paying I was only paying off the car in like about 60 something months so it's a little more than the STI but pretty close monthly wise so but you have to you have to understand that this car is literally almost thirty thousand dollars more than the STI so that's so about $700 monthly um, and then you have insurance which isn't super bad I paid maybe like a hundred and thirty dollars for insurance or something like that because it's cause I'm 25 now so insurance isn't like super expensive for me anymore but yeah so I pay about that much so all together it's about oh, eight hundred and fifty dollars somewhere around there eight hundred forty eight fifty somewhere around there so so that's how much it costs to pretty much own this car and then gas is pretty terrible gas is probably just as bad as the STI which is kind of unfortunate but to be honest I think this car is worth every penny unlike the STI it doesn't have the manual transmission obviously but and like I know that's a little that's a big point for like a lot of people that are looking to buy this car that they wish they had a manual but a guy like me that knows how to drive a manual and like likes driving manual also and having two cars that's a manual and like having one as a weekend car and having one as a daily it gets a little it gets a little tiring after a while and I was I really like the Supra and like I've heard a lot of good things about the transmission and like the whole car itself so I I had my doubts at first and then like I started look I started seeing videos of it and I started like seeing people talk about it so much and honestly I probably will have this car for a very very long time because like this is how that's how nice this car is the power that this car has is super nice it has enough power to have fun but you know like not kill you the transmission is honestly really nice and that's coming from a guy that likes to drive manuals also, but I'm not saying that just because I wanted an automatic, but this transmission is like really nice. It's super fast, super crisp, and it's not it's not a DCT, but it, it really feels like one. I've, I haven't driven a R35 GTR, but a lot of people compare the R35 Trans to be just like this one, which is really surprising because this thing shifts really fast when you want it to be. It's kind of weird. It like when you're coasting and you're cruising and you just shift it like it shifts fast but it's not like it's insanely fast but when you're on it this thing shifts quick so it makes it makes the driving experience still very fun in this car one thing you have to know when you do buy this car the blind spots are terrible. 
like my right side from where there's a little window I don't know if you could see it on my side there's a little window right here literally from you can't even see that outside that window so that 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 window is literally for aesthetics from the end of your door window back until your rear window is literally unseeable you cannot see shit so so you better adjust your cameras to be able to see your blind spots or else it's going to be a, a scary drive because you know i've had some close incidents where somebody was in my blind spot and i just couldn't see it even even though i looked so it's it's honestly one of the harder cars to drive in my opinion especially for like if you're going to put into blind spots into consideration but but yeah but but if you set up your, your windows properly and everything you you make sure you double check everything and all that and you should definitely be fine okay i just got to best buy i'm gonna pick up the camera as soon as i come back and we're back so pretty much the more of the video I told you guys how much the, the super cost and if you guys are looking to buy one you guys know exactly you guys you guys should know what you guys are uh, you guys should know what to expect so there's there's really nothing else honestly like if you guys if you guys have any of the questions about what it was like what it's like um, to have the, the super or like you know how much it costs like of other other things that I might have missed you guys are more more than welcome to comment down in the comments and then I'll I'll reply to you guys and I'll tell you guys more in depth or anything just answer any other questions you guys have on the car if you guys are really thinking about buying this car I honestly think this car is 100% worth it it is such an amazing car and if you guys are able to just test drive one you guys definitely should just get your hands on one and just test drive it and really see what it's like to have it because honestly talking about it seeing videos about it are totally different than actually driving the car as soon as i drove this car i was like oh yeah this is this car is fun like this car is very fun i was looking at a couple other cars you know i didn't get to just test drive it but i was looking at the m340s and like the m240s and honestly they probably wouldn't be the same experience because you got name you got the name of the supra and then honestly like that's about it but you got the looks you got the name and I, that's that's what makes driving this car so much more fun so so honestly if you guys really want it I really really recommend you getting this car like if you guys are also on the if you guys are also thinking about getting the new Z I'm not sure how that car is um, I'm sure it'll be a fun car to drive with the especially with the manual I've always wanted to drive one of those um, Q Q50 Red Sport cars but in a manual so I, I think that I think that car would, would be honestly pretty fun to drive also. Do I think I'm gonna trade in the super for the Z? Not at all. No. I, I don't, honestly don't think so. That's how much that's how much I like this car. Would I want to test drive a Z and see what it's like? Of course, yeah. Why wouldn't I? But would I do I think I'm gonna trade it in? Absolutely not. I think this car is way too good. But anyways, I hope you guys do like this video. Leave a comment, subscribe, whatever. You don't have to obviously, but if you do feel like it, go for it. Like I said, if you guys have any other questions, just comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer for you guys, okay? Get out of my way! Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.